If you spend any time on fashion TikTok, you may have noticed that oversized, loose-fitting clothing is in. You may have even heard that skinny jeans are dead and that it's not cool, man, to wear slim fit clothes. Is this true? Should you get on board with the oversized trend? That's what this video is all about. Before we get into it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Factor. Factor is all about healthy eating made simple. They deliver fresh, never frozen, healthy meals right to your door. And the best part is there's no prep needed. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. Factor is actually owned by my favorite meal kit delivery service, HelloFresh. They're both great. It just kind of depends what you're in the mood for. If you don't want any prep or cleanup, Factor is the way to go. They offer keto, calorie smart, and plant-based meals like this smoked tofu almond stir fry. It's got edamame, basmati rice, peppers, mushrooms, and lots of other healthy ingredients. My wife and I also enjoyed this vegetable ratatouille with polenta and made for a quick and healthy lunch. And the best part was there were no dishes to do afterwards. Factor meals offer plenty of variety with a weekly rotating menu of over 25 meals and add-ons. You can either choose specific meals or just let Factor handle that based on your preferences. I also love that Factor has detailed nutrition info on each meal. Helps me track my macros and calories for the day and make sure I'm hitting those protein goals after leg day. But my favorite thing about Factor is just how easy it is to get a meal on the table. It's fast Faster than delivery, it feels way healthier than takeout. And since my wife is vegetarian, but I'm not, Factor offers plenty of tasty options for both of us. If you want to try Factor, head over to go.factor75.com slash modest130 and use the code modest130 for $130 off across six boxes. One more time, head over to go.factor75.com slash modest130 and use the code modest130 for $130 off across six boxes. Okay, back to the video. So first of all, despite what the headlines say, skinny jeans are not dead. If you just look at the actual data and market forecasts, you'll see that skinny and slim fit jeans are by far the most popular styles, and this is true all around the world for men and women. Now, looser fits are trending, and this specific trend was inevitable. The fashion industry relies on trends to stay alive. If people didn't feel any pressure to buy new clothes, then we would all just wear the same stuff until it wore out, and that would be really bad for business. Now, this fashion cycle used to be a biannual cycle, so designers and brands would release two collections every year, one for spring, summer, and one for fall, winter. These days, fast fashion brands like Zara and H&M are releasing new collections every month, new items every week. And they're spending a ton of money trying to convince people like you and me that they have to buy these new things to be relevant and to feel cool. Now, it's not just the industry's fault. Of course, people's tastes do genuinely change over time. You know, sometimes just one person with enough influence, like a celebrity, might get into something new. And this can cause a bit of a cultural shift in taste and aesthetic preference. Really, every generation causes this shift, and there's nothing new under the sun. Think about it. Today's fashion, what's trending right now, is just a reinterpretation of 90s fashion. 90s fashion was heavily influenced by 1970s fashion, and the 70s was a continuation of the 1960s hippie aesthetic. And you can trace this evolution all the way back to the days of tunics and pantaloons, which by the way, if humans are around long enough, will also be cool again one day. Now, I don't think this is necessarily bad. It's certainly not something that we have control over. As the old saying goes, the only constant is change. And some people, usually younger people, welcome this change. Other people, usually older people, will resist it. Personally, I'm not opposed to the idea of fashion trends. I won't not wear something just because it's trendy, especially if it makes me look better. I mean, I remember when slim fit cropped clothing became really popular, I was so happy because I could finally find clothes off the rack that really fit my build. But when a trend comes along that doesn't really work for me, I'm okay with opting out. And this is the case with several current trends, including the broccoli head hairstyle, the chunky dad sneakers, and of course, relaxed fit clothing. For me, I'm gonna ride out this wave in the same stuff that I've been wearing since 2013, and that's slim tapered pants, minimalist sneakers, not too many accessories, and a classic haircut. And when everybody is trying to sell their dad shoes and their oversized camp collar shirts on Grailed two years from now, 
I'm gonna be wearing the same thing. And I'll be ready for whatever trend to come next, which at this rate is probably low-rise bootcut jeans. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you shouldn't experiment with looser fitted clothing. I think it can look really cool. And I have nothing but respect for people, even here on YouTube, who are into that look. You know, people like Jordan O'Brien, Parker York Smith, Fly With Johnny Ty, Harry Haas, Tim DeSaint, Daniel Simmons. These guys genuinely look cool, they look confident, I think they enjoy wearing these clothes, and honestly, they've probably helped nudge this trend into the mainstream. You should wear what you like, and if you feel like your current wardrobe doesn't really represent who you are, then definitely start experimenting with something else. But if you're happy with your clothes, keep wearing them. You know, I'm certainly not buying new trendy clothes and loose fits just to fit in. And if you still need some convincing, I'm gonna give you three specific reasons why I am skipping this specific trend. Number one, I don't like buying new clothes. So most trends start way up at the designer tier. It's very expensive to buy designer clothing. So it means if you wanna get these trendy pieces right off the runway, you're gonna to have to drop some serious coins. So think like chunky Balenciaga sneakers. But the thing is these trends trickle down to fast fashion brands at a breakneck pace. Designers send samples to influencers who are really just a marketing channel. And then these influencers and other marketing campaigns create a mainstream demand for trendy pieces. Now, of course, most people can't afford designer price tags. So fast fashion brands scramble to get versions of these trendy pieces out as quickly as possible. This is literally a race to the bottom. So yes, you can buy affordable versions of these trendy pieces. You could switch your wardrobe out every two months, but think about the conditions under which these clothes were made. Probably horrible working conditions and probably from dirt cheap materials. So it's very difficult to participate in these trends without either spending a lot of money or contributing to unethical uh, labor practices and the huge fashion waste problem. Really the best way to be an eco-friendly fashion consumer, uh, short of joining a nudist colony, is to just buy fewer things. That means you have to wear your clothes longer, and if you wanna wear your clothes longer, you can't buy stuff that's not gonna look good in a year. The third reason why I'm skipping the oversized trend is because frankly, I think slim fit clothes just look better. Now, here's where the debate becomes interesting and subjective. The thing is not everybody agrees on the role of style in our lives. Even amongst guys who are into how they dress, there's sort of two ends of the spectrum. On one end, you have the fashion lovers. These are people who see how they dress as a creative pursuit. They use their clothing to express themselves almost as if they're artists and their body is the canvas. On the other end, we have the practical style crowd. These are people who use clothing as a tool. They wear clothes to fit into certain groups or environments. They wear clothes to be comfortable. They wear clothes that make them look as fit and as put together as possible. Now, the fashion lovers have a hard time why anybody would take such a boring and logical approach to getting dressed. They reject the belief that clothing should enhance your perceived physique. The practical style crowd thinks that most fashion trends are utterly ridiculous. They would never intentionally wear something that wasn't just functional or that didn't make them look better. Both groups appreciate clothing, but for very different reasons. And here's the thing, both groups are right. We don't have to agree on the role of clothing in our lives. And the important thing to remember is that these two groups of people and everybody in the middle actually have a lot in common. They appreciate clothing. They understand that clothing has the ability to influence our mood and our self-image and how other people view us. Personally, I'm more on the practical end of the spectrum. You know, I'm not really into fashion. I use style mostly as a tool, you know, just like fitness or communication skills. It's kind of one branch on the tree of personal development. It's something I have control over, so why not make sure that my clothes are working for me and not against me? And that means that I wear clothes that I think enhance my physique. And so as a slim guy, I wear slim fit clothes. I wear mostly understated neutral colors, and I pretty much only buy things that I think are gonna look as good as they do now in five or 10 years. But I would love to hear from you. I want to get a discussion going down in the comment section. Are you trading in your slim fit jeans for more relaxed cuts? Are you buying oversized t-shirts? Share your thoughts with me down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this discussion, do me a favor, share this video with a friend or just hit that like button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.